Grand Rising Gods, Goddesses, Kings, Queens, what's goes on on YouTube as I'm about to bring you the word of the day for October 5th, 2020. I have already meditated. I already sat with my team. Let's talk. We're going to start off with some affirmation. <clears throat> talk to me, spirits. What is the affirmations that you want for the overall energy of these YouTubers to start their day off with today? Can I get one more? Let's give them something to talk about. So you have a total of four. The first one is, I am unbreakable. Spirit is saying, can no one break your spirit? Can't no one take your joy? Can't no one take nothing from you unless you allow them to do it? You are unbreakable. Stand your ground, stand in your truth, and know who you are. I speak highly of myself. I am safe, I am lovable, I am smart, I am unique, I am beautiful, I am free, and I am worthy. You need to know if you don't speak it, no one's going to speak it for you. You need to speak it yourself. Look in that mirror. Tell yourself every day when you feel that funk, that stupid, nasty, stinky funk trying to creep in, that's when you're going to say, no, I reverse that shit. That's not of me. Reverse it. Reverse it. I am unbreakable. I speak highly of myself. I am happy. I am prosperous. If you don't start saying it, it's not going to happen. It's your job to birth it. It's your job to speak it into existence. That is your job to do. Okay, what messages? Can I get three cards for the overall energy for the YouTube us? Alrighty then. Spirit is saying some of y'all are going to go on a certain a sudden journey. It's like y'all not, this is going to be unplanned. All of a sudden something's going to happen and y'all going to have to go out of town. Um, or you're going to get invited for a trip. This is going to be a sudden journey. Um, you are con con continually in someone's thoughts. Spirit is saying someone is thinking heavily about you. This could be an ex. This could be a secret admirer. This can be um, anybody, but you're constantly in their thoughts. They're thinking about you. Spirit said good business on site. I'm hearing if y'all about to start a business, now is the time to start it. Those who do have a business is going up. It's, it's looking good. A woman be... A woman will be the cause of a contentment for you soon. Spirit is saying, be careful who you tell your business to. Like I always say, you can't tell everybody everybody. You can't tell everybody everybody. You can't tell everybody everything. You can't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. Some things is kept between you and your spiritual team. Keep your courage a little longer. Better things are in sight for you. Spirit is saying, just hold on to that love. You got to hold on. It's coming. It is coming. You got to hold on. They said, don't give up. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. It's coming. Something's going to happen after the 13th. A lot of people are going to start seeing changes after the 13th. Can I get two more cards, Spirit? Ah, exactamento. Worthy. Spirit is saying you're worthy. This is why I said I am unbreakable. I am prosperous. I am worthy. I am powerful. I walk in my divinity. I am that I am. I am beautiful. I am sacred. I am knowledge. I am everything that you say. You're, you're everything. Spirit is saying you everything. You worth every damn penny. Stop lowering your price tag for people because you know what? They wouldn't do it for you. So why should you break the bank for them when they won't break the bank for you? You see what I'm saying? God. Spirit says start playing music. Some of y'all are connected to music. When you listen to music, your whole vibration change, your whole mind brain change. You become a different person. You vibrate on that frequency. Spirit said when you start feeling like in that dump, play some music. I don't care what type of music. It can be gospel, Christian, inspirational, reggae, funk, 
Metallica, whatever floats your boat. Spirit is saying, start listening to music. Spirit is recognizing you for your hard work. Everything that you're doing for being obedient, Spirit is recognizing you for your hard work. Okay, let's see. What's goes in on? Can I get three cards, please, Spirit? What is it that you need them to know today? October 5th, 2020. These cards are so big for my hand. They forget about people with small hands. Nope. Two. Oh, three. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all are having obstacles. People are sending evil eye towards you. Let me explain to you what an evil eye is. Talking ill against you, wishing you ill, wishing you bad luck, wishing things that happen. Like, for example, I wish Minnie Mouse and Minnie, Mickey Mouse hurry up and have a fight and break up. That's sending an evil eye. Spirit is saying a lot of them are jealous because of your relationship. A lot of them are jealous because you do have a business. A lot of people are jealous because you're prospering and they're not. And they can't blame no one but their self. Spirit is saying you got to send that shit back. You can go get a, a reversal candle. Um, You can just, I don't know. You got to sit with your team. It's just telling me that you need to send that shit back. A lot of y'all, y'all soulmates is coming. A lot of y'all married people, y'all have soulmates coming. We have several soulmates. Excuse me. We have several soulmates. It could be somebody. It doesn't necessarily mean have sex with them. Soulmates can be a spiritual brother, a sister, uh, someone that you used to be with in a past life that y'all instantly connect. It's sort of like that deja vu moment. Spirit is saying y'all have a, a soulmate coming. Spirit is saying some of y'all need to be more cold-hearted and cold-blooded and start setting boundaries because y'all give, 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 and these people are just drawing you up like a prune. Spirit is saying let it go. Let it go. Um, you have a lot of passion. Spirit is saying whoever this so for some for my single people, this soulmate is gonna have a lot of passion in it, a lot of fire. Come on, baby, like my fire. Y'all gonna have a lot of fire. I'm talking about sexual healing. Y'all gonna have a lot of passion in this. And then for my mom says married, it's just gonna help boost you that confidence, something that you lack in where you weak. They're going to build you up and activate you, vice versa. Where they weak, you're going to do the same for them. Let's go. Spirits, what messages? That goes with confirmation when I said you had obstacles. The barrier card came out. There's somebody cock blocking y'all. And y'all need to do y'all investigation and find out who's cock blocking y'all. Because you know what? They interfering with your blessings. Your blessings can't go through because they cock blocking you. You got a lot of haters. A lot of haters. A lot, a lot of haters. A lot of haters. Y'all got a lot of haters. Aye. You gotta understand, Spirit saying, the those that's doing magical work, and those that want this person to love you and they don't love you, you're going against their free will. And Spirit saying, it's not going to turn out the way you want it to turn out. So it's best of you to leave it alone. It's not right to make someone love you against their will because you would not want nobody to love you to have them love you against your free will so free will is free will for a moment i have to put this out there everybody don't believe in god there's a lot of atheists there's a lot of people and if god wanted you everybody in this world to bow down and worship him all god had to do is snap his fingers and do that but god do not go against your free will so you shouldn't go against no one's free will because you don't want nobody going against your free will do unto others if you want others to do unto you What other messages do you have for the overall energy? Spirit is saying some of y'all need to forgive y'all self. 
Y'all too hard on yourself. Forgiveness is the key to everything. Once you start forgiving yourself, once you start trusting yourself, once you start being honest to yourself, that's how you start your inner healing. Once you start your inner healing, that's where your power just takes off like a rocket. Some of y'all are living in a material world. Um, Spirit is saying, y'all money hungry, y'all greedy. Everyone needs money. Yes, they do. But the love of money is where you get you. Because when people get the love of money, they start killing people. They start doing people wrong. They start robbing and stealing because of the love of money. Yes, we need money. But you need to change your thought pattern of money. Once you start changing your thought pattern of money, your money is going to start flowing in. Spirit is saying this soulmate, the one that's married, and also the one that's not married. Because I said we have several soulmates. All of them is not sexual. Some of y'all going to be sexual, but this is not sexual. It's time for you to find your tribe. They're going to lead you back to your tribe. Your tribe is your tribe that you belong to. Your words and their words will resonate with one another. And that's how you know this your tribe because you'll automatically click. Everybody's going in a new direction. Everything is happening on divine timing. Like I said, when our ancestors and them came down on the 31st, 30th and 31st, heavily on those two days, an energy shift happened. So I don't know what planet is going in doing what they're doing after the 13th, but a lot of doors is going to be opening up for a lot of people on the 13th. It's like that dark cloud is just going to go away real quick, and all of a sudden you're going to be like, damn, where is all this coming from? Just know God is saying the answer is yes to your prayers, whatever you're asking for, if it's the right thing, Spirit is saying, if it's the right thing. Some of y'all are contemplating if this, if you should continue on this journey because you're getting frustrated. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. Once you get activated, only place you can go is forward. So you might as well just embrace it and take the bitter with the sweet. That's like any relationship, any marriage. It's to death do you part. The good and the bad. The yin and the yang. So stop saying this ain't for me. Yes, it is for you. Y'all need to balance. Like I said, once again, the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the hot and the cold. You need that balance, Spirit is saying. Let's see. What messages do you have for the overall energy? Some of y'all love life is turning around. Be surprised. The Knight of Pentacles is coming in. Like I said, y'all money is coming in. But Spirit don't want you to have that greedy uh, vibration of the love of money. You got to start thinking as money as energy. You got to start thinking of it as a different vibration. Once you change the thought pattern of how you want your money, it's going to start flowing in. They're not going to give you something if you're going to get greedy about it. If you're going to start hurting people or doing stuff about it, they don't. They're not going to do that. They want you to change your vibration of the money. Like I said, money is a necessity. Everybody needs money, but the love of money is what gets people because that's when they lie, steal, and kill. For that, they get greedy. And your team don't want you to get greedy, but they want your money is coming. Some of y'all are struggling right now. Spirit is saying y'all can go to a food pantry. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you know anybody, reach out on social media. Say if anybody kids outgrown their clothes or something i'm struggling right now this covid got me you know fucked up right now don't be afraid to ask for help you'd be surprised what god would do he will send somebody to help you you gotta ask um keep that balance y'all being patient your pot is at the end of the rainbow it's coming some of y'all gonna be collaborating with somebody uh like a coven or a business or y'all just celebrating because you finally pregnant or you joyful of your divorce or you're getting married it's going to be a celebrating of something like i said at the end of the rainbow it's the ten of pentacles just hold on everything is coming a lot of y'all really need to change your vibration and your thought patterns the law of mentalism let's see what else spirit do you need them to know some of y'all need to be more vulnerable no nope, that don't make you a punk but y'all need to be more vulnerable. Some of y'all really, really, really need to heal y'all inner child. That's blocking y'all too. Because y'all got so much hate and anger. Y'all think y'all got it out, but y'all just popped the head. Y'all really need to go deeper, deeply, deeply into it. Uh, once you start embracing this inner child, I mean these inner demons, this hatred, this anger, this jealousy of people, 
it's like it's really restricting you and you don't understand it's causing health problem it's causing you to not get your blessings because you have to forgive even if you don't want to you're not forgiving them for them you're forgiving them for yourself so it does no longer have hold on you you can move on and get these blessings because the lover's card is coming you're holding up your blessings because you're hateful some of y'all are just pure hateful and angry at everybody because you're wondering why everybody's not getting shitting on you there's a reason that's something you have to work on i still have things to work on when something start aggravating me or ego and it caused me to get angry towards somebody my team is saying sandrea that's something you need to work on so everybody is not perfect no one is perfect i put it that way we all have things to work on but some of y'all are holding it in i mean some of y'all are just fucking angry for no fucking parent reason you know, sometimes, like I said, it's not that person, it's you. So you have to turn around. Sometimes we can be the toxic person and don't even realize it until later on when we realize we don't have anybody. You have the will of year, will of fortune, love, money, creativity, mental intellect, everything. All your blessings is coming. Come on, spirit. One more card and then I'm done. Everything's looking for the up and up, but the point is we have to change us. Told you, you have the two of cups, the lovers, you got the soulmate card, you got the will of fortune, you have the ten of pentacles. Everything is waiting for you. It's waiting for you to take the key off and open the door. He or she is coming. Your marriage is getting better. For those, it's not getting better. Y'all going to get a divorce. This is your time to work on you. Change your vibration so he and she can smell you. Everything is coming. But first of all, what's most important is you. Working on you. Don't worry about who's on the left, right, or back of you. Work on you. When you start healing, remember, you can't heal somebody unless you heal. Two sick people can't tell each other how to be healed. Two blind people can't tell one another how to see. Someone's going to have to take that leap of faith and take that chance, and it's you. You're on the right path. Remember, you are who you are. You're unbreakable. You are pure consciousness. You are pure divinity. You are pure power. You are pure love. You are wisdom and knowledge. You are a god and a goddess. Start telling yourself that once you start healing the inside, trust me, it's going to flow on the outside. Take a walk in nature. Change the way you eat. Meditate constantly. Pray constantly. Journal. Listen to music. Get some vitamin D. If you can't get the sun, get somebody else's sun. Ah! But change everything. And once you change, you're going to start seeing the change. People are going to start seeing you glowing. People are going to start talking to you. The ones that you thought was out of your league are going to start because you're smelling. And those low vibration people are going to be down here. They're going to be looking up at you. And you're going to be looking at them. And the ones that you're desiring to be with, y'all going to be heavy, level. And then sometimes you're going to pass them. Don't be surprised who is watching you. But they don't want you because you have a lot of baggage. Y'all be blessed. Namaste.